What's going on? Vital Syntax here. And there's going to be some big changes to the console gaming market over the next couple of years. Um, the first thing is that before the end of next year, before Christmas of 2013, it's rumored that the Xbox 720 and the PS4, if those, that's, that's the naming convention they're going to use, are going to be released. And we don't know the specifications. There have been some leaks and some rumors about the specs for these systems, but obviously nothing set in stone yet. But also there's been recently an announcement that the Steam Box is something that Valve's working on. So this is going to be a, a, P, a modified PC that's going to run Steam, and it's designed by Valve. It's going to run PC games. That means you're going to take be able to take full advantage of higher end graphics and you're going to be take take uh, be able to take full advantage of all the things that steam has to offer like the incredibly cheap steam summer sales or winter sales or black friday sales all the sales they have on there and hopefully you'll be able to have some type of other pc functionality maybe things like web browsers things like uh, media players things like um communication applications. I don't know what, I don't think they've talked too much about it, what operating system they're gonna run the Steam box off of, what, what Steam is gonna be running off of. I would guess that it's probably gonna be some form of Linux because recently they've released Steam uh, on the Linux platform and that's an open source platform that they could use uh, to run Steam off of. Maybe they're just running Steam by itself or maybe they're actually doing a full OS and Steam's gonna be one of the programs that comes on that Steam box. And until we get the full specifications, I'm not really going to say, you know, which one is ultimately better, but from the sounds of it, if I was a person that didn't have a gaming PC and I was still playing on the PlayStation or playing on the Xbox, that Steam box would be really, really tempting right now. If that's going to be a competitor, which it is, it's rumored to be at least, a competitor to the Xbox 720 and the PS4, I would really consider getting the Steam box because... Well, there's, there's a couple of factors you have to keep in mind. I think the most important thing that about getting any new gaming system or getting new, new games for a system is what are your friends playing? I mean, if all of your friends have PlayStation and you go out and buy an Xbox, you're not going to be able to play with them, and that, that sucks. Or if all your friends are playing uh, Battlefield and you go out and buy Borderlands, you're not going to be able to play with them. So that's, that's something to keep in mind is that you want to have you know a, a system where you can play with your friends. And that's unfortunately something that we can't get around at this point. I would hope in the future there's a, a way more support for cross-platform uh, gaming. I mean, there are some limitations and there's some reasons behind them not having cross-platform um, uh, gaming, but to be honest, it'd be so awesome if I could just play with anybody. I mean, I don't care if you have a PlayStation. I don't care if you have an Xbox. I just want to play games and have fun with uh, as many people as I can. So, I don't know. Maybe that's something that the Steam Box will kind of help uh, drive because... It's a PC platform, so not only are you be able to play with people that have Steambox or whatever they're going to be calling it. I think the Steambox sounds kind of stupid, uh, but you also be able to play with anybody on the PC because it's essentially a PC gaming platform. Um, I mean, if you think about it, an Xbox is essentially a PC too. It's a personal computer. It's just modified in a certain way, and I mean, it even uses the same DirectX rendering engine as the PC. Now, the PS3 has some special uh, differences. And there's, you know, there's always differences between the, but essentially they're all computers. I mean, that's what it comes down to. So why can't we just play together? Yes, I know there's limitations of controller versus keyboard or being on different networks. You have the Xbox Live network, you have PlayStation network, you've got Wii network or whatever it is now, and you've got, you know, Steam or Origin or whatever, um, whatever network you have on PC, because I guess there's a couple of them now. Another big factor you have to keep in mind when buying any new system is the price tag obviously because that's you know big for everybody and right now the xbox 360 and the ps3 are incredibly cheap i mean you can get one of them for like 200 or 250 dollars i mean you can probably get one for 100 bucks used on ebay or something and you have to remember back when the ps3 and the xbox 720 or the xbox 360 first came out i mean the ps4 was what, like 700 or 800 dollars it was it was very expensive in comparison to what it is now and that's probably the way that it's going to be with this next generation of consoles. Don't expect the PS4 or the Xbox 720 uh, to be a similar price as the current generation. I mean, they're going to be expensive. And that brings up the question of, well, if you're going to spend $800 on a gaming platform, why not just buy a PC in the first place? I mean, you can build a pretty good gaming PC for $800. It might not be top of the line. You might have to, you know, cut back on a couple of things, maybe get... 
uh, a cheap case, maybe get a cheaper CPU that doesn't have hyper threading, maybe get a lower end power supply that's not gonna support SLI, or maybe get only four gigs of RAM, or only get, you know, one hard drive, things like that. And I mean, if you do all that and just get a really nice graphics card, I mean, you can power, you know, modern games, 1080p, 60 frames per second easily. And you're gonna be playing at that full resolution. Now, we don't know what the specs are for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720. So really it's the best idea to wait till those specs come out and compare the specs that they're giving you for the price tag versus the specs that you could get for that same price tag on the PC side of, or also on the Steam Box side, because you never know, maybe the Steam Box is going to be uh, better hardware, but around the same price. Um, obviously, they're going to have to market in some way like that, because they can't just have like a $2,000 Steam Box. Nobody's going to buy it, or at least nobody, uh, or not nobody, but not as many people as they are, they're hoping would buy it if they're really trying to be a true competitor to, um, to the Xbox and to the PS3. Another thing is that this next generation of consoles is going to bring a huge tidal wave of amazing games. I mean, just think back to other console releases in the past, like things like the original Xbox or the PS2 or the N64 or even the PS3 or Xbox 360. When those new systems come out, there's a ton of new games that come out that are really good that come out specifically for those new platforms. And that's because developers have a ton of uh, a ton more tools to work with. They have a lot more memory. They have a lot more horsepower to design their games. And obviously, if everybody's buying new systems, everybody's going to want to be buying games for those systems. So the sales are going to go up for those games as well, which is going to give developers incentives to make good games and make a lot of games. So not only is this going to help the consoles, I think it's also going to help the, the PC platform because one of the things that a lot of people on the PC have complained about is that over the past three or four years, the consoles have been so outdated that they're holding back the development of PC games. Some games don't even come out for PC, or some games come out for PC, but they're incredibly crappy and they're not actually taking advantage of the PCs that people have built. Well, if these new uh, consoles that come out and they're at least you know on par with lower medium end uh, gaming PCs, then that's gonna make a huge tidal wave of, of really good games, not necessarily just good graphics, but I also think just new innova uh, innovation and things like that as well for every platform, not just for the consoles. So I think that's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to is just this next generation of not only consoles, but next generation of games. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Feel free to leave any comments down below on which system you guys would buy if you didn't have a system right now. So say in a year, if you're gonna get yourself a Christmas present and you didn't have a gaming platform, would you get the PS4, the Xbox 720, the Steam Box, a gaming PC, or some other type of platform? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a like or a favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next one.